so currently this is from ambience cafe so regatta meadow have had all their paths widened um when he did this one is is surface wasn't bad but it's too narrow you can only get me down here in my wheelchair um now a year or two ago um there was resurfacing here and this goes up to the railway um so and then it stops there so yeah and then it's the railways bit there so then what i'd been told originally is that all these paths were being widened however anyone can see the plans they are on the hdc website if you go on the planning um part of the website and you just search riverside park it comes up <coughs> it's all color coded now apparently these paths aren't being done um i'm not sure maybe this is but it's important for me as someone who goes to the railway and volunteers there as well because if they dig them up obviously now this is the, the surface of this is awful now apparently this path is going to stop soon so people have taken pictures they've actually filled in the path around the back here now i don't know how true it is but let's see you've got a path over there where that lamppost is and that goes the other side so it goes kind of down the middle and then you've got one right the other side there where that bench and those people are sitting over there so the idea is that obviously this is raised up because when it floods you can still get through if it's not too bad but for a wheelchair user i found that these going along the grass here was only possible from the end of june because we'd had all that flooding it was so boggy even in like the beginning of June, it was too muddy. Um, and I got completely bogged down in the grass. So this, I assumed, was going to be widened. But when I get to this path here... Oh my God, it is true. Okay. <laughs> so this has been topsoil reseeded. Um, I don't know if it's just grass or plants or... So now you can't go around the back of the railway. And there was a sign around the back there, so I, I'm quite shocked actually. Um, yeah, I'm really shocked. <laughs> I'm not very um, speechless often, but I'm going to come back this way. So now the route you have to go, if you want to go to the play park, it's not too bad, I suppose. But if you want to go and have a look at what the railway's doing, you can't. Not if you need a path. And this isn't just wheelchair users, this is pushchair users. People with kids maybe who've got bikes that need the path. Anyone who basically needs a hard standing path. Now this path is horrendous. And I'm not sure, I think this is one of the paths that's supposed to be resurfaced. Because you've got benches, you've got bins, and you've got street lighting, which is another issue. Because a lot of people say at night time the street lighting doesn't work. But for me I'm not actually that surprised. Because the street light is currently one o'clock in the afternoon. The street light is on. So. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to just keep filming because, you know. Then you can see. So to get to the other side of where the railway is to come down this path and then you come to this bridge now you can go left I don't know if that path's been done and then you can go right now you have to go along here now as someone who also walks a dog <clears throat> um, sometimes the dog does not want to go the long way around and so Coming this way would be an extra, well, definitely extra on your journey. But this is currently wide enough, so I can't imagine they're actually going to do anything to this path. Because the surface is fine, the width is fine, so maybe it's that middle path. I've got a feeling, if you look on the map again with the colours, this part isn't coloured in. Now, the people doing this, the company that HDC have asked to do it are the same people that are doing the toilet block and 
I say nothing about the toilet book because I'm not getting in trouble, but let's just say it could have been better um, managed and it was supposed to be done by the end of July and we're now on the 13th of August, so, and it's still not open. Um, all finished. So you can't, oh, you, I thought you could cut across, you can't. So you've got to come all the way round and up by the play park the, with the spaceship and um, it's the river road entrance so you've got to come round this way and you come up by the skate park which is just to my left the play is to my right I'm not filming that because there's kids there and then you have the ice cream van which I would love to go to but I'm busy so let's go around this way you have to cut through here. And it's nice and busy because it's summer and school holidays. Obviously during the summer, you know, the ground is hard and it's okay. But I would say any time after late September, early October when you're more likely to get rain and and it doesn't take a lot of rain for this park to get boggy and then flooded too. So I'm coming down to where the path used to come out and then I'm going to go against where the path has been filled in now and then you'll see for yourself what the problem is. So this will go round. So this is now round so this is all being filled in now this is already really bumpy I'm lucky because I am in a powered wheelchair if you're pushing someone or you're a manual wheelchair user and this is what a lot of places forget there's all different kinds of disability you're not just all wheelchair users um, if you're on a scooter yeah fine but this is the route you'll now have to go I don't know why, even if they filled that in for grass, why can't they put a path where I'm going now? It's wide enough, it's raised up enough. This is, well you can see me shaking around, I'm not shaking the phone. This is genuinely bumpy. And the trouble is it's so lovely too, you've got the ditch around the outside of the Minotaur Railway, which used to be a, um, a pitch and putt. This is um, this is a nice route, and it's not the other way. And it's you'll come round in a minute, and usually you can see through. And there's a sign as well. Um, I mean, there's no way I would come this way anymore in the winter, which is a bit of a problem. See, there's the miniature railway sign, which now, unless you know it's there, you're not going to see anymore. Um, because no one's going to walk this way. I mean, you can cut across the path, but this whole area here gets flooded so easily in the winter that you, you just will bypass this whole part of the park, which to me is insane. Um, the bench will be, you know, out of use probably. Um, yeah, it baffles me completely. Um, And carries on just up to this junction and then I'm assuming this is junction is gonna have to be done because I have a feeling there's a path right the other side and that was earmarked so you wouldn't even have this path you'd have to be right where that tree line is over there um, to get, even get through so this is very crazy um, and we're back onto the path again so yeah I don't know what HDC were thinking, especially as I think I'm going to go and show you Regatta Meadow. I've not been there since they've re-surfaced um, the paths. Um, some places were wide enough. So I'm going to pause this and show you that. So this is the path also that is too narrow currently, and you'll see why. Oh. 
That's a good example. That little boy said when it's flooded, we can't go down here. Charlie! Charlie! Now I just had to go onto the grass. So I'll now actually show you how I have to get to Regatta Meadow as a well, cheese. It's basically the step free access route. So anyone who can't do the stairs that go off the town bridge in the middle there, I'll show you how you get to Regatta Meadow. Because I don't think people appreciate either how far it is. You'll just go down the steps and you're there. So you have to come one of the entrances into the car park. So usually for me it's down the slope by where the bike rack is, which is just over there. So then you have to, because of the blue gates in the way, you have to come round to the end of the car park here and under this yellow barrier, over the gutter. Like I say, you can't just cut through the car park because um, the gates are closed there and that's just, just been like that forever. Um, I think it's a mixture of flood risk and antisocial behaviour probably. So, right. So to get to Regatta Meadow, we're going this way now. We're going through the path, which will take us under the town bridge. Um, as you can see from down here, that's a whole other thing, the cones. Like, I swear every business needs to have a disabled advisor. Honestly, who at the work workmen or the council or whoever it is thought that was clever I don't know right so we go under the bridge and there's the steps that you would normally come down so then you come round and you're the other side of the bridge now which is up there now it's ironic they've got signs everywhere about making improvements to the paths which is there you can go one of two ways. So I'll have to see which way I'm going. So you come into this new bit. Now this is nice. This is wide. I'm assuming that they're going to be doing a path there to meet up with it. Um, this is very wide. And they've also done at the sides there, so I'm assuming the grass will grow back. And they've recited the benches and the bins, which is nice. I'm not going to go too far because uh, it's quite warm today. And I want to see the other side as well. And I don't frequent this side of the path very much, just because previously it was... It was uh, inaccessible for me. Because the... Uh, this bit where the, oh that was a nightmare before, where the um, drainage ditch goes underneath, that was like really, really annoying. So I'm not sure, it goes all the way to the end there, so they've, they've taken a long time to do that I suppose, because that's a lot of work. But actually it's pretty decent, I mean the tarmac is, a, it's tarmac, it's not that attractive, but I suppose if it's going to get flooded many times in the year then you know and I suppose they've improved the drainage maybe no. so then the other path which I'm not going to go up but I'll show you anyway it goes towards Crossall Road um, I'm assuming that they just haven't caught up with it yet <laughs> the swans over there <laughs> those people trying to eat their lunch they're uh, inundated with about 20 swans <laughs> Um, so yeah, so where they haven't finished clearly is, um, they haven't reseeded the soil anyway, but assuming there's going to be a path there, and then maybe they're going to fill in the path here, because that's the narrow one that, you know, it goes up there, and then you can see there's like a massive turning circle, which I suppose is for events and stuff. So, yeah, like events such as Dragon Boat Festival, which is next Saturday, actually. Um, so, yeah, it's for hard-standing things, especially when you have Revolution, which will also be here for the Dragon Boat Festival. Um, I'm now going to go live um, on Facebook page, so you will have already seen it if you're watching this now. 
I'm going to edit this video and please comment your thoughts, tag anyone that you think would be interested in the path being removed, um, etc. And I'll see you soon.